No Way will kill Venatus with his own hands. That's not a spoiler. It's technically said in the first episode, but I just watched the first two episodes of The Case Study of Vanitas as a series that is airing in the summer 2021 anime season. It's already slated to have two seasons, so that's definitely exciting for it because there's a lot of really great people working on this particular series, including uh, Tomoyuki Itamura, who, of course, did the Monogatari series, uh, is directing it. We have Hitomi Mueno, who is doing the series composition, and uh, Yuki Kaji Uda is actually doing the music, which I was actually surprised by. I didn't know that until I was watching the show. And I heard this style in the background. I'm like, yeah, this is definitely her work. Awesome. Fantastic. Looking forward to that. So let's jump into it. The background behind the case study of Vanitas kind of falls around the idea of Vanitas himself. This vampire that was born under the blue moon. And this is seen as an ill omen amongst the vampires who were all born under the crimson moon. And when this particular vampire was kind of exiled he kind of was talking about vengeance he wants to get vengeance upon these vampires so he created a grimoire that this grimoire itself can actually essentially corrupt the names the true names of vampires and in using this can actually make them under the blue moon and this kind of concept transfers into the current time that we follow a guy named Noe who ends up having a run-in with another vampire who then has their name corrupted And this guy that calls himself Vanitas, who's actually a human, shows up and uses this grimoire in order to essentially correct the true name or give her her true name back and thus saving her life. But this isn't really accepted amongst the vampires. They still seek to execute her because she did become curse bound. And whenever a vampire becomes curse bound, they have to execute them because they're trying to live amongst the humans. They're not allowed to attack humans. And thus her being corrupted is dangerous. So they have to execute her. And so in order to basically save her, they have to, I guess, uh, convince them that this book actually exists and it's for good because everybody believes this book's a folktale. Those that do believe that it exists believe that it will corrupt names, not correct them. But this human who names himself Vanitas is actually using it to correct them and actually cure them. So there's a little conundrum here where, you know, you have the idea that some people don't believe in it and those that do believe in it fear it, essentially. So trying to break those molds and do what Vanitas wants to do, which Vanitas claims that he wants to just save vampires. He sees that they are getting corrupted and they're going to become dangerous, and he's seeking to actually save them, not hurt them. And he's, of course, trying to employ Noe, who is a vampire, really strong vampire, it seems, and uh, <laughs> Noe doesn't want, to, doesn't want to be a part of him. He just wants to help this this girl that turned into a vampire. So, uh yeah, it's a, it's a great little introduction so far. I do like the backstory they've kind of introduced. The concepts it's introducing so far are great. Um, some surprising points in this ep- this entire series so far, the, at least the two episodes, is I really did like how they portrayed uh, Amelia Ruth, who was this vampire that had her name, her true name corrupted. I really liked how they portrayed it. They just had this idea of her kind of almost uh, almost becoming wounded and having the this kind of dark poison or ink kind of dripping from her and it starts kind of spreading throughout this subconscious that she has there's a whole bunch of flowers around her it looks very beautiful and then it all starts becoming corrupted as this strange figure shows up which i'm assuming the strange figure is this um maladies so when this thing kind of shows up it that's when the corruption really starts spreading but really cool action scenes as well um they're doing a pretty good job this is of course being done by bones so i'm assuming they're going to do a good job on this series uh, but so far, the action scenes have been really good. Um, a lot of impact, a lot of velocity in it. Um, it seems very well animated. They've had about two fight scenes so far, and both of them have been pretty awesome. Uh, like the show up of, of Jean. <laughs> She's a little overpowered. They have this Jean character who essentially they talk about in the past when they had this war between the vampires and the humans. Um, there was like a thousand vampires that actually sided with the humans. And this Jean actually wielded this gauntlet and wipe them all out single-handedly. So very, it very is already kind of painting her as a very strong opponent for them. And obviously, she's sided with this uh, Lucius, who is just trying to get the book. He actually believes that it exists and believes that it's dangerous and wants to destroy it. So you do have a conflict on what's best for this book, the conflict in that there it need it's needed for curing it, and the conflict of it being, being the one that actually causes the curses. So really cool in that regard. But yeah, I'm, I'm typically not super into vampire stories, um, but it's, they've so far have kind of painted a really cool concept here. This, like I said, this conflict with what should be done with the book 
and the characters so far have been fun. I think uh, Vanitas is kind of a little bit of a goofball, whereas Noe is like super kind of ditzy goofball. <laughs> so you have two goofballs uh, kind of counterbalancing each other. But um, and like I said, the art style is great. The setting's awesome. Um, got this whole Paris kind of thing going on. And just again, this the the animation and the styling and everything like that. It's it's really kind of turning out good for it. And I've always been kind of fascinated by the concept of the true name for the vampires. So, kind of to have a story that plays off of that, it's pretty interesting. So, definitely looking forward to more of this. Like I said, Bones is doing a pretty fantastic job so far. But that is my thoughts on the case fi- this case study of Vanitas. Uh, definitely looking forward to more. If you like this video, leave a like down below. Comment. Let me know what you thought of the series so far. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video if you can. And y'all take care.